Well, well, well. Look who's on the phone here. Uh, a rising comedian and filmmaker and man about town, Mr. Joe DeRosa. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. What's up? What do you say? What do I say? I say uh, I keep getting tweets that there was some Bailey talk happening. Well, yes, we did see her <laughs> today as she stopped by to do the Jim Norton Advice show. Um, uh -huh. And I saw her downstairs, and I thought, pop star. And then I came up, and everyone explained what um, was up. But I hear that you're a major fan of hers. A uh, ridiculous fan. Ridiculous fan. I, uh, you know, and it's not my thing. Uh-huh. I've never been, like, real into, like, transsexuals and stuff, but God damn, man, I would, uh I would do it. I'd go the full, I'd go the full tilt with her. Even knowing what you know? Knowing what I know? Yeah. I'm all in. All, I'm all in. All my chips are on the table with this one. Now, I'd, would, go, I'd run right in. Now, would that mean that you would also service her package? All right, so Joe has made a move here. Now, have you explained that to her? Yeah, now she's. I'm in a real safe place with her because she's she's married, so it, you know it can't happen. So I can freely tell her, right? Uh, you know, hey, I suck your cock, and but, you know, it's. It, it, I never would have to do it, you know. No, but you're saying <laughs> you're the type of guy who would suck a dick, but you're not a homewrecker. That's your. That's where you draw the line. Yeah, I have ethics, you know. Okay. I, I have boundaries that I won't cross. I, but I would not. Here's the thing with her is that I wouldn't, I wouldn't suck a dick. I would suck her dick, and that's the hard truth. No, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be funny with puns, but I mean, right. I don't know. I, I, I can't explain it. I can't explain why her and why I would do that and why I don't think that that's in any way. Uh, even a little bit gay, you know, like I just, I, uh, you know, and I, I wish, I almost wish I was less confused about it and go, yeah, there's some guys I'd like to bang too and go, that's where that's coming yeah. from. But I've just never been so attracted to a person with a dick in my life and, and her, except her. Joe, I see this as an awakening. I just feel like this is the early steps that you're taking right now. <laughs> I, for a new life yeah i think later i think later you're gonna go like this okay uh, the two people that i'm with uh, that i would suck your dick uh bailey J and ray lewis those are the only two that i would do that for <laughs> look you might be right it might be it might be the first step in a long in a long direction, down a down a long road. I don't know. I got it, but I got a girlfriend now, so I don't think she'd want to. How does she feel about this little thing that you got here? I showed her. Uh, I because I I, I I interviewed Bailey the other day, uh -huh. and my girlfriend was supposed to come, and she's like, she's like, I should have came. I wanted to see Bailey. I wanted to see if she's as hot as you say she is. And then I showed her pictures of Bailey, and she was like, Oh my God, she's she's gorgeous. And I was like, Yeah, I know, right? And I and I was like I would suck her dick if I went out with her. And she was just she was like okay, she's yeah. fine with it. She, no, I mean she, I mean she wouldn't want me to for infidelity reasons. But you know as far as the concept of it, she was she was very good good about it. You know. See, here's this makes me uh, worry about you, Joe, though, because I've been checking out some of the stuff that you do online and the comedy that you're shooting, and I think <laughs> that the last thing you need to do is to have a stable home life. <laughs> I think that you're right on the brink of breaking, and the last thing you need is happiness in your personal life. Well, I mean, here's, I hear you. I've, I've, I've wrestled with this myself, but the way I look at it is, is if, uh, if I have the stable home life, then maybe I can destroy it. Okay, and, good. and then, good you know, idea. then there's a whole new thing to do, you know. I mean, if that happens, that could really, uh, that could really push you. I mean, maybe that's what it is. You yeah. know, I, I get married and then I get caught. I do this the Hugh Grant or the Eddie Murphy thing. I get caught with the prostitute in the car. She's got a dick. One thing leads to another. 
You break up Bailey's it. marriage in the process. Yep. And then and then and then I'm doing Doctor Doolittle too. It all fucking works. It all out. happens, and there's money for everybody. There's money for the exes, and you're starting to compromise what you think is your comedy and your art, and take it out <laughs> to a commercial place. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> it's look, we got this all mapped out, man. We got this all mapped out. Let's all right, bro. It. Let's make it happen. All right, bro. Thanks for calling us. I got to go to break here. All right, great talking to you guys. Take Always. Care. Talk to you later. Peace. Uh, there's Joe DeRosa, who's ready to put it out there. Oddly in a way that even our own Fez Watley isn't.